What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and we are here for a little bit of a, um, I guess a breakdown for the Battle of Hoenn showdown competition that happened a couple weeks ago on the uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi competitions page. Now, if you want to check out your rating and all that good stuff, of course, you can just log into your Pokemon Global Link account, go to online competitions, uh, and then it'll show you not only all the ones you can sign up for, which I will be doing a video on later, such as the Generation Showdown or a little bit later, the um, February International Challenge League. Depending on which one you registered for, of course, uh, you'll click on the corresponding one. But they have some really, really nice data available online for these. So um, not only can you see your ranking if you just want to click on your own ranking, um, I was actually pretty happy with my overall ranking. Did not do so well that last day of the competition, of course. But uh, my ranking, of course, being ranked 2,000 out of probably some 50,000 applicants, I think that's where they made the cutoff. I'm at 1628. I think my last score was 21 at 9 or 20 at 30. Or 20 at 10, excuse me. Somewhere in there. But pretty good. You can also just see just your friends if you want um, to check out how your friends did in the competition, which is also cool. Uh, but also some really cool information that they have provided during this are the Pokemon rankings. Um, they tell you not only the Pokemon, uh, the number ones, the number one Pokemon that were used, which in this case was Blaziken, it also showed you the chances that they had certain moves. So you can see that the average Blaziken had Protect, Flare Blitz, High Jump Kick, and Hidden Power, all in their moveset. Um, this is useful because not only can you check out the ability, there were some Blaziken used that had Blaze, but most of them had Speed Boost. But you can also see the nature, seeing that most of them were adamant or running naive sets, and you can see the held item, seeing that actually Mesa Blaziken, Mega Blaziken was the second most used Blaziken, uh, with Life Orb being the most common uh, item he used. Now, when victorious, you can see the most common move he used to defeat other Pokemon was Flare Blitz, whereas when he was defeated, he was often defeated by Earthquake and Waterfall. Um, you can also see the top Pokemon that defeated this Pokemon, and you can see the top Pokemon that. Uh, this Pokemon defeated. So, pretty interesting statistics there. It is fantastic that they're giving us this data. And it's even more cool that they can select uh, this data. Um, of course, it's also great to just pop in and see the rest of the Pokemon there. I'm actually pretty interested to see uh, how many Salamence, or wow, most Salamence were Mega Salamence. That's really interesting. With the next item you use being Choice Scarf, I would guess that uh, Intimidate was probably a little bit more uh, popular, or a lot more popular, rather. Then Moxie. Um, and it's going to be interesting. Again, Adamant, the most common nature for the Salamence used, with Jolly following close and behind there. I'm going to guess when Salamence was defeated, it's probably some Choice Scarfers, maybe? Uh, Ice Punch was the most common move to defeat a Salamence. Salamence was the number one Pokemon to defeat other Salamence. That's pretty interesting. Um, oddly, Magnezone is in there as well. I didn't, I wouldn't expect that. I guess there was some Magnezone carrying Hidden Power Ice in there. Um, and Salamence was most often used to KO other Breloom and Salamence. Not surprising there. Um, and just so that we cover the top three, we can check out Meg Meg Metagross as well. Of course, you guys can go in and check out these yourself. But Bullet Punch was on most of them. Uh, Bullet Punch, Ice Punch, and Zen Headbutt, and Earthquake there. Interesting that most people went for Bullet Punch and uh, for went the usage of Meteor Match. Of course, Meteor Match has that chance to miss, so I don't really blame them. Uh, of course, Clear Body use on most Metagross. I'm not sure why you would use Light Metal, although I guess if you're Mega Evolving, it won't matter, because number one held item was easily Metagross Sight, with the second one being Safety Goggles, and not seeing that item coming there. Um, most common nature was Adamant, not surprising there. I have run into a few mixed Mega Metagross, not very many. Uh, Alrighty, when, let's see, Metagross actually handles a lot of things in this list relatively easily with those top four moves. When it was defeated, though, most of the time it was because of Earthquake. I'm surprised that Flare Blitz isn't higher on that list, although Mega Metagross does outspeed Blaziken before a speed boost. Uh, so that is actually pretty interesting. I am also surprised that Mawile is something that defeated Mega Metagross. Um, I'm guessing that's because of the Sucker Punch here. But Mega Metagross can definitely take one. So, all that information is available for you online to go check out. It's really interesting just to go in and look at it. Uh, especially with... 
I expected these Pokemon to be, I think I covered all these Pokemon on my threat list. Um, but not necessarily the order that they appear in, necessarily. Um, so it's always nice to be able to prepare for future competitions in that way. Uh, what are the ranks that you guys got in the competition? If you're not on my friends list, I'm just curious um, if anyone got above the 1628, if anyone cracked that wonderful top 10% that uh, a lot of people are trying to crack. And also for those of you worried about uh, your Tyrant having the Rockhead ability, or um, I guess Tyrantrum would have Rockhead since Tyrant is the pre evolved form. Uh, but if you're worried about that, codes will be sent out on Tuesday, February 17, 2015, after another uh, routine maintenance of the Pokemon Global League. And after you log into your Global League account on that day, after the maintenance is complete, then a notification will appear that will contain your code and you can download the Tyrant in the same way that you downloaded um, the Superior, Embor, and Samurai with their hidden abilities. So look forward to that. I'll definitely just tweet out some reminders in case anyone forgets. Feel free to follow me on Twitter for that reminder. But that's something to look forward to as well. So I hope you guys found this useful. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye now.